My name is Elaine. I grew up in Albuquerque. I work as a customer experience advisor at Tier 2 for PNM, which is based out of New Mexico in Albuquerque. Generally, we clock in and we answer phone calls from our customers. So the 888 number that you call to get to somebody um, in customer service, that's the phone number that gets to me. And essentially, I just answer questions regarding customer services um, and any concerns that they might have either with their billing or their services. In our work, um, when we answer the call, of course, we do have to introduce ourselves, let them know who it is that we're speaking with. Um, and then we ask them to verify some information on their account make sure that they are who they say they are and then from there it's pretty much what's going on what's happening uh, what are concerns that you have being a human on the call is always really important to um, our customers because we want them to see us as human as well so having those basic conversations like how are you doing today what's going on how um, are things going uh, what are your concerns and then just breaking it down to get to the root cause of what their real objective for calling in is. There's a lot of computer work in my position. Um, it's not difficult computer work, it's mostly just running through different applications, um, but having to be able to do basic troubleshooting for a lot of different services, there are different applications, um, there's a lot of typing involved. So that is one thing that you do have to know is how to type. It doesn't have to be crazy fast, but it does have to at least be quick enough so you can communicate with a customer and still take notes without them sitting there for like five minutes wondering what's going on. So you do have to be able to come up with some, like if a issue pops up, like one of, you know, my screens aren't working or, you know, maybe my mouse died or something like that, then we still have to be able to accept that and then kind of ignore it at the same time because our customers don't know what's going on on the other side and it really shouldn't impact them on what we're doing on our side. So having to kind of play around that and still have to work around an issue is also a really good um, critical thinking moment too for this position. Uh, so I mean with my work career essentially um, after high school I wasn't really interested in moving up or in higher education. So I started working at um, a retail store. I started working at Walmart actually. Um, and I worked there for a couple years. Um, I ended up getting pregnant and I decided that I, I needed something more, something better than minimum wage. I started looking around. Um, I found a temp job is how I got started in the contact center work. Um, and then I realized I was actually kind of good at it because it really is just talking to people, to having these conversations, um, but then also bringing that professional aspect to it. So um, I started applying. I worked at um, two other contact centers before I finally found PNM. Um, and they were great. They were good learning experiences. Um, but my favorite thing about PNM specifically is that there is such a great support structure for us with the representatives, but also our supervisors, like the whole building. There's a lot of co-accountability. Like if my boss messes up, I feel comfortable telling her like, hey, this is something that happened, which isn't something that's very common <laughs> in a lot of places. Um, and then I went into um, quality, which is just listening to these phone calls and grading these calls and telling other representatives about, okay, well, how can they have phrased things differently? What would have worked better? And just coaching them on, you know, next steps on how to approach situations in the future. After that, I became a supervisor and I loved it. I thought it was great, um, but I absolutely hated uh, having to deal with all the paperwork, all the pro policies, all the all the little paperwork, just everything else. So I, it wasn't something that I was um, enjoying. I loved being able that, to talk with, you know, some of my agents to coach them. I, I like that aspect of it. With PNM now, it's now that I'm older, my son is 13 now, and I feel like, you know, now I'm actually ready to start moving up and start going back to my original plans on getting, you know, everything back on track. And this whole time, just kind of stepping up the ladder, so to speak, to just, you know, make incremental moves forwards. 
So, I mean, in high school, um, I was like the classic underachiever. I like to refer to myself as like Bender from the Breakfast Club because, you know, I was just like, okay, cool, whatever. Like I, I did great when I applied myself. It just wasn't being applied. Um, so in high school, it was, um, you know, I, I loved English. Um, that was my favorite subject. I did great in it. Um, math was a really good subject for me as well. It was just... I wasn't doing the work. Um, so in high school, it was really hard for me to kind of have to change gears from being, oh, okay, well, whatever, to actually taking the things that I do seriously. Um, because I, like I said, once I had my son, I, I really needed to stop thinking about just what I wanted. I needed to think about, you know, what's going to happen to him? What, what are my choices going to do to impact him? So once I got out of high school, that was when I got a lot more serious. I did a ton of creative writing. I absolutely loved, you know, I did, uh, we had a board game um, after school program where we would just all hang out and just play different board games. Um, and it was a great way to kind of communicate and socialize with not just my friends, of course, because they were there, but also just random new people that would just show up and say that they wanted to try these things um, because you know that's the same kind of communication that you're going to be getting out in the real world it's just walking up to somebody and saying hey you know what this seems like something I want to do how do I get into it um, and that goes for the same I think throughout life like whether it's high school or anything else but I think in high school is when I I really actually learned how, how to be a human being I think is the best way to say it <laughs> Don't worry about making mistakes. Um, failure is a part of life and it's the only way that we really learn. If we do everything right the first time and we never make mistakes, then we would have never progressed. Um, what, what's that saying? Edison had to make 1,000 light bulbs, uh, figure out 1,000 ways how not to make a light bulb before you figure it out the right way. Um, and I, I think that's really important. My son, he's 13 now. He's going into eighth grade. He's going to be in high school soon. And that's why I try to tell him all the time, like, you can make the mistake. That, that part is perfectly natural. It's what you do after. Are you learning from it? Are you applying yourself after it. And I wish that's something that I would have learned when I was in high school too.